So on a, a quiz I just gave out to, to students, um, there were a lot of mistakes. For example, like let's say it was the square root of 24, students would write out um, that's 4 times 6, and then they would write 6 times the square root of 2, which is wrong because uh, this is asking what number times itself, what time number times itself equals 24. That's what this is asking. Now I pointed at the 24, but this is all one thing. It's all one number. It's not 24. 24 is the radicand. It's part of the whole number. This number is what this number is. The number squared that's 24. And we write it this way because it's irrational. There's not a number you can write by hand that would equal 24. So so anyway. If I took this number and squared it, if this was right, I would get 24 back. But watch, 6 root 2 times 6 root 2 is 36 times 2, which is 72. That's not 24. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how you multiply irrational numbers together in the hopes that you'll understand why this is wrong. So that's the whole purpose of this, uh, this video. Okay. So again, I want people to understand that uh, the square root of 24 is 2 root 6, not 6 root 2. Those are totally different things. This number times itself is 24, but this number times itself is 72. Okay. Now a lot of people mess this up. They say the square root of 64 is the square root of 8, which is wrong. This means what number times itself is 8. This number means what number times itself is 64. Totally different. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with a couple of examples. I'm going to do this pretty quick. There's um, a couple properties I want you to understand. There's a couple of things I want you to recognize when, when you see these problems. Okay, so there's also lots of different steps in the middle that you can do um, you know, to multiply these numbers together. So the first thing I want you to recognize is that we have some rational numbers. Rational numbers can be written as a fraction. 3 and 5 are rational numbers. 3 is, you know, 3. 5 is, right? The reason I mention that, I cannot write this number, square root of 2, with hash marks. I can't write the square root of 7 with hash marks. They're irrational. Um, this is what we write instead. And it means what number times itself is 7. All right, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply the 3 times the 2. You're going to put them together, and you're going to multiply the square root of 2 times the square root of 7 together. We're going to multiply the irrational numbers together and the rational numbers together. Now, the reason we can rearrange the order is because of the commutative property of multiplication. It doesn't matter what, what order you multiply numbers in, you get the same thing. It doesn't change the value. All right. Now, the reason we can multiply these two things together actually has to do with, actually has to do with exponents and order of operations and stuff we're not going to get into here. Okay? So you'll just have to take my word for it for now. 3 times 2 is 6. The square root of 2 times the square root of 7 is the square root of 14. Now, before you say this is your final answer, you need to take a look at that, that square root of 14. And if 14 itself, if the radicand has a factor that's a perfect square, it can be simplified, and it needs to be. Otherwise, uh, you won't get full credit. So let's try another one. Um, let's try one like uh, 5 times the square root of 2 times 3 times the square root of, oh, let's say 11. So why don't you try this one, pause the video, and then when you're done, come back and see how you did. Because uh, you're, gonna, you're going to learn from mistakes you made, and no problem getting this wrong if you learn from it, and then you're able to do the next one. So go ahead and pause the video. Here I go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and write 5 times 3 times the square root of 2 times 11. 11 and 2 are both prime numbers, so I can just go ahead and write it like that. All done. So I hope you got it right. Put the rational numbers together first, put the irrational numbers together, and go to town. All right, next up. A little bit, little bit trickier. Let's do 5 times the square root of 2 again, but this time times 3 times the square root of 6. Now the reason this one's trickier is because 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2. And so they actually would multiply together and have a factor of 4. It's, you know, 6 times 2 is 12, but 12 is 4 times 3. And so you're going to have to simplify this one. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit of time here. First thing first, 
5 times 3 is, is 15. And then we're going to do 2 times 6, okay? So where I got the 15 was 3 times 5. I didn't write it out like I did here, but I think that's okay to do in your head. Now, from here, there's lots of things you could do. You could write it out like this, right? Or you could write it out like this, right? Um, well, there's other ways you could write it out too, but one of the two. Either way, if you look here, 2 times 2 is 4, right? And so you might not write this exactly, but I hope that when you're doing the math, you see that that's the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 right here, the square root of 4 is 2. So I have 15 times 2 times the square root of 3, which gives me 30 times the square root of 3. All right. Now, let's say I did not recognize that right there like this. Um, hopefully, I would see that that's 4 times 3. And the square root of 4 is 2, so I get 15 times 2 times the square root of 3. Same thing. Either way, same way. Sa same end result. Okay, last example. It's going to be similar to this one, so um, it would be a good idea, instead of just watching, to try it on your own. And when you're done, unpause the video and see if you got what I got. Alright, so 8 and 3. This 8 and this 3 make 24, right? Now, the square root of 3 and the square root of 6, well, that would be the square root of 18, right? Um, you might have been thinking ahead and done it like this instead. 8 times 3 is 24, and 3 times 3 times 2. Maybe you recognize that that's got a 3 in it, and together that's 9, right? So that whole thing right there is 9. So hopefully... Like you might not need to rewrite this stuff, but you would see that that's 9. All right? And over here, the way we would do it is like this. And we see that the square root of 9 is 3. And they're multiplying. All of these numbers are multiplying together. So that would be 72 times the square root of 2. And this would be the same thing, because that would be... Right? So, anyway, um, I hope this video is helpful. If you found it helpful, please click like, as always, um, for more videos, just subscribe, and you can leave questions in the comments box. Have a good day.